Hi, I'm Mark Tester and I'm giving one of the plenary talks at the International Quinoa Research Symposium in the middle of August this year. An online symposium which has many advantages I think because it will increase the accessibility of this conference to many more people which is a fantastic advantage. Of course that's offset by the cost of not being able to talk over a drink after our conference uh, presentations but it's still very good for increasing accessibility. I'm very pleased, honoured to be giving one of the talks at this conference. I'll be talking about the research in our laboratory on quinoa. My laboratory more generally is focused on salinity tolerance and quinoa attracted my attention as a very uh, salt tolerant plant that's producing an edible grain um, and I'll be happy to present talks on in particular four posters which we're also giving so I'll be presenting the work um, from four posters one of which will be by Elodie on the genomics of quinoa uh, that, which will be in collaboration in particular with David Jarvis from uh, BYU Brigham Young University we have a poster by Gordon on salinity tolerance in quinoa in particular using the plant accelerator uh, a phenomics facility in Australia uh, there will be a poster by Garby on phenotyping and there will be a poster by Clara who will be looking at the genetics using the tools if you like to think of them as tools that are presented in those other posters and putting it together to try to identify the genetic control of some traits which will in contribute to increasing the yields of, 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 of quinoa. Um, I'm here actually at Kaust and um, I'm standing in front of some some very salt tolerant plants, some mangroves uh, next to the beach which is in front which is in front of the house where we live and uh, Calst is a research and development university uh, focused on science and technology where we are here to discover things and then apply our research for the benefit of the kingdom, the region and the world which is certainly what I hope for our research. So looking forward to the conference and see you there in, see you virtually there in just a few months from now. Bye.